Welcome to the 5 minute tour of Cisco Security Device Manager. Click on the icon to launch Security Device Manager and it takes a few seconds for the application to start. You can choose to use HTTPS or just HTTP. Either way it will open up a web browser on your desktop. It takes a few seconds for SDM to launch and here you've got the main application window here. and. Um, lots of different places to uh, look and things to click on. The main, in, the main interface will show you the model type of router you're connected to, your memory, how much flash you have, your version of iOS and also which version of SDM you have. If you click on more you can see what features you have on your iOS release and also what hardware um, you've got installed on various slots on your router. You can also look at interfaces, what state they're in, as a brief overview, if you've got DHCP configured, and also more information about your firewall policies. This is a blank config on this router, so really it's not going to tell us an awful lot. The main place to go for any configuration settings is at the top. Click on Configure, and here we've got the Interfaces and Connections wizard. You can see on the right we can set up a very simple connection we'd click on create a new connection. It's got a great help, help guide included so at the bottom you can click on the how do I and it will pop up a help wizard that will give you a walkthrough guide on how to configure all the various features available. You can edit your interfaces. I've got two connected here, my fast ethernet and my serial. If you had more cards inserted it would give you obviously an option for each of those cards. You can add, edit, delete, get a summary. Um, I'm going to click on test connection here just as a brief demo. I'll test the connection to my fast ethernet on my PC which is 10.10.10.2. Click on start. This is going to save you a lot of time and trouble doing show commands and, and clock rate commands when you can use just use SDM and it will do all those tests for you. Just going to go through some of the features now one by one. This is the firewall and ACL access list settings. We've clicked on basic firewall here and it's given you a, a useful diagram on the right. So we're configuring the firewall. If you click on advanced firewall it gives you a lot more settings including that in and also setting up a DMZ on your network. You've got ACL policies and also application security level. Next down to choose from is your VPN. Takes a couple of seconds to launch and we've got lots of different settings here for VPN. Site to site, easy VPN, VPN server, dynamic multipoint VPN. So click in each of those, you've got how do I's and also wizards that help you configure each of those parameters. On security audit you can actually do a security check on your router or there's a one-step lockdown which will put a, a quick configuration onto your router that has been approved by Cisco TAC. Next down, all your routing will be done on the routing section. You can add static routes, next top addresses, exit interfaces, or you can choose dynamic routing at the bottom. And you're very simple, you just click on which protocol you want, RIP version 1, version 2, OSPF and ERGRP. You can choose from any of those, fill in the boxes and it will configure the router to do the routing for you. Next is network address translation. You can do basic NAT or underneath that you can do advanced NAT and if you're hosting email or web servers you'd need to do the advanced NAT so you've got static translations. I've left intrusion detection. You can configure quality of service as well. There's some additional tasks, so if you click on additional tasks at the bottom, it will open up another window for you. Here's where you can do your DHCP, DNS, URL filtering, a lot more granularity here. And of course DHCP and DNS is tested on the new CCNA syllabus. We'll go into all of these details in, in more in more detail in the other videos. So this is just a, an overview of the look and feel of Security Device Manager. Click on Monitor on the top and this is where we can see all of the real-time statistics for our firewall, VPN, router logs. 
we're looking at our fast ethernet interface there at the moment which is the only one we have up and working on this router we can see our CPU as well and uh, bandwidth so I've clicked on interface status it's looking at the fast ethernet not much happening on there at the moment so I'll just source a ping from this router uh, to the fast ethernet on my PC just so you can see some traffic passing over the interface so it's doing testing between the PC and the router and you can see the the scale there has just jumped up to show that there's some packets going out and coming back into the router firewall status log again nothing happening on there at the moment VPN status it's going to be the same because we haven't put any configuration on this router we can look at the traffic status as well quality of service logging this will all have a lot more information when you've actually got a live router using a lot of these services alright so at the top we've got different menu bar options we can do a copy run start change our preferences also very handy we can look at the running configuration you can highlight all of this and copy it if you so wish if you wanted to send it to somebody various tools and um, the show commands is a, is a handy tool you can issue a show flash, show protocols in this case we've done a show version so you can see, um, see the output for the show version command without using the command line lots of other features here, security audit and uh, I've clicked on the telnet so we can telnet from this router to another device on the network Thanks for watching and there's more videos on howtonetwork.net.